I guess it's Calctember here on the YouTube channel because it seems lately that all I want to film video videos about are calculators. Which is okay, I guess, because I do have a lot of calculators to uh, make videos of, especially in recent months. Today we're going to look at another adding machine, a bit of an interesting one because it's portable. This is a Sharp EL1750V. It's a battery-powered desktop adding machine. My particular example was made in 2013. Can you believe this? I got this for like two bucks at a thrift store. Only half a decade old and somebody already got rid of it. This thing would have cost like probably 50, 60 bucks new. And you can still buy this model today. It's I, Sharp's been selling it for, I don't know, 10 or 15 years. Um, and they're still making it today. This is basically the portable version of the Sharp EL1801V, a mains powered adding machine, which is also currently available. And I like the Sharp EL1801V. We have a few of them in use at work and they're very nice adding machines. They're not as, they're a lower end unit. They're not as big uh, and bulky as uh, a larger adding machine like the EL1197P, which I've made a video about previously. They're more compact and, and convenient to fit on a desk and, and they've, got, they've still got a lot of really nice functionality and actually some nice functionality that um, some larger adding machines like the 1197P don't have. And the EL1750V is basically the portable version of the 1801V. It's slightly smaller, it's a lot lighter because it doesn't have an AC power supply in it. It's got an LCD display instead of a VFD. And it does have a couple of uh, features that are missing from the 1801V. The 1801V has an averaging function. This doesn't have that. And it's also lacking a couple of uh, extra um, decimal selections uh, that are in the 1801V, but otherwise the feature set is identical compared to the 1801V. And of course this runs on batteries instead of plugging into the wall. It runs on four AA batteries. It takes a standard two and a half inch paper roll that uh, hangs on a, on a rod. And the printer mechanism is really nice. It's an identical printer mechanism that's used in the EL1801V. And there's many other adding machines and printing calculators from Sharp and other manufacturers that also use this very same printing mechanism. This printing mechanism was made by Epson, which is very interesting, but it's very nice. It's a two color printer, black and red, but instead of a ribbon, it does use a uh, sponge roller. And if I remove the ink roller here, put it down over here, you can see it's a two color roller. It's got a black part and a smaller red part. Very, very nice. And because so many calculators and adding machines use these, these are cheap and uh, easy to buy if you need replacements. Or as I've mentioned before, if you have one of these, and uh, the ink roller dries up, you can get stamp pad ink in a little bottle um, with a little spout on it and you can just put a couple of drops of ink onto the uh, sponge and uh, that'll rejuvenate it as well. I've done it to a couple of the uh, 1801V machines at work. Of course it's a little bit harder because you've got to be careful not to contaminate the red or the black um, but as long as you're careful you can rejuvenate either of them with the appropriate color of ink. And uh, the ink roller just snaps back into place like that. Very, very nice system. Two color printing in a nice compact mechanism. Printing is fast on these um, for a serial printer and it's very quiet. It's a lot nicer than the printing mechanism I've shown in uh, the handheld printing calculators I've shown so far with that ALPS mechanism. This is a lot quieter and faster. It's very nice. I don't know of any handheld printing calculators that use this mechanism, but it's very nice nonetheless. So let's uh, take a look here. Actually, I'm going to go back to the printing mechanism. Door just removes here because it works very different than uh, the printing mechanisms we've seen to date. I gotta remove the ink roller again. So it's a serial printer. It punches the numbers in one at a time, but instead of a, a, a rubber belt 
with all the molded characters on it with a print head that moves along and punches uh, the character onto the paper when the belt, when the right character on the belt passes over the print head. This has these round rollers which have the various characters on them and it spins them. The print head can move step by step to each position on the paper and these rollers can spin until the uh, right um, character is over the paper and then actually behind the paper is one big long backing plate that that punches the paper forward into the roller so the paper moves into the roller rather than the roller into the paper and there's three rollers you can see two for black and one for red so you don't get color contamination between the um, uh, between the ink rollers and the and these rubber rollers so that's very good but yeah very uh, very interesting mechanism so let me put the roller back in and then we'll turn this thing on and demonstrate it so turning it on here the uh, power switch you have on on with the printer and on with the printer with item count now I have a previous video my video of the sharp EL 1197p and 1197p3 um, where I describe how to use an adding machine in great detail because adding machines don't work like normal calculators. If you take an adding machine like this and you try to use it as a normal calculator, it won't work. Um, you'll get unexpected results. The input logic is totally different. So I'm only going to briefly um, go over the you know actually using one of these only through demonstration of the functions but if you want a, a slow paced um, detailed explanation then you can visit that video so I'll put it on on with print um, there's our rounding switch up down or um, 5 over 4 which is the default there's our switch for normal mode if you push it to the left grand total becomes available if you push it to the right you get the rate set mode in which you can set the tax rate and uh, I believe you go to that mode to set the clock calendar. This does have a clock calendar. You can view the time and date which is very nice. And there's your decimal mode. Uh, floating point 320 or adding mode. In adding mode it works like a calculator um, in, or it works like a cash register rather where you don't have to use the decimal point. It always assumes that the last two digits are cents, so it assumes dollars and cents. So if I add this number, you get 52.53, $52.53. So I'll switch this to floating point, and I'll go into the grand total mode. And uh, we'll go over the buttons here. Of course, you got your paper feed, which I just used. Um, there's your clock calendar if we press this. There's the date and there's the time and I believe if we're on either and you just press it again and it goes back to the uh, calculation and it saves where you were which is very nice I believe if I press the non-add key it'll print the date or time yes it does I'll go to the time here so there's your date and time and then it automatically goes back into the calculation mode after you've printed one or the other. So I'll do a clear here and uh, we'll just add a bunch of numbers here. It's 12 digit and you can see that printer works nice and fast and it is relatively quiet which is very nice. Um, subtract some numbers here And uh, you can see here the two color printing. Very nice. Ink roller is in good shape on this. I haven't had to rejuvenate it. The, uh, both the black and the red ink, not perfect, but still very, very legible nonetheless. So very, very nice. Your total and grand total, I have it set to grand total mode. So if I add some numbers here and uh, take the total of that and I add another set of numbers and uh, take the total of that. So we've got our two totals, 15 and 24, but then if I hit grand total, it adds all the totals together. 
and we get 39. And you saw a little enunciator there, a letter G, which shows when there's something in the grand total memory. I'll do that again. And as soon as I hit total, we get the G there, which means, hey, there's something in the grand total to see once you hit the grand total button. Um, your tax, I have the tax rate set to 15%, so if somebody bought something for $9.99, tax plus. And there it gives our value after tax has been applied, and it prints that out as well. Now, a really cool function that uh, I'm surprised is not on more, I, I haven't seen it on more um, adding machines, is the change button. I've only seen this in the wild so far on the EL1750V and the EL1801V. This is very nice. So of all the adding machines that I've seen so far, um, this in the 1801V would be most suitable for substitution for a cash register just because of this feature. Um, and because you've got the change button and you've got the tax plus and change is exactly what it sounds like. It calculates change. So let's say somebody's bought some items that cost, I don't know, $4.99 and uh, $9.95. And okay, so that's that's their subtotal. Um, let's add tax to that. And I say, okay, your your total is seventeen dollars and eighteen cents. And let's say they give me a twenty, and then I hit change. I know that their change is two dollars and eighty-two cents. How friggin' cool is that? I have not seen that on any other adding machine besides this and the EL1801V, very, very nice feature. Very, very useful in, in certain uh, circumstances. You have a combined non-add and subtotal key, so if I've added a bunch of numbers, and uh, if I wanna know the subtotal, or if I, we know the subtotal right now, it's 12. If I wanna print the subtotal, because the subtotal hasn't been printed yet, I press the subtotal key and it prints the subtotal on the page. If I want to use it as a non-add key, I put a number into the display and then press the key. So it doesn't do any calculation with that number or add it to the total or anything. It just prints it onto the page. And this is a nice way to print, for example, serial numbers. No calculations performed, it's just a, a number for some sort of use of uh, identification. So it's a very nice feature and that's how the combined um, subtotal and non-add key works. Other adding machines have those keys separate. And uh, you've got a backspace key of course, very nice. Um, but you've also got a combined clear clear entry key if you want to do it that way. Four key memory, very nice. So we can uh, add to memory and uh, subtract from memory. And uh, then uh, diamond M is memory subtotal, so this just displays the memory. And it prints it onto the paper. But you also have star M, which is memory total, so it prints the memory onto the paper and clears the memory. And uh, you saw the M enunciator there, which appears when there's something in memory. And uh, other than that, you know, we've, we've got a sign change key, so if I do, I believe if I do like negative six and press add, it'll still print it in red. It'll just treat it as subtracting six rather than adding negative six. And indeed it does, it prints it in red. Um, oh, interesting, it actually prints the negative because if we look elsewhere on the tape, oh yeah, when you, when you subtract something normally, it prints it in red, there's no negative, but the negative's over here. But because instead of subtracting something, I added a negative something, it's printed it in red, but with a negative symbol and a plus symbol on the left side. So you'll know that this was a negative number that was added rather than a positive number that was subtracted. And it still prints it in red because it ultimately subtracted from the subtotal. Ah, oh, nice. That's, that's a clever way of working that. Um, otherwise, um, you've got cost, sell, margin, and I never remember how to use these. You know, it's, it's something like, oh geez, if I, if I have an item that I bought for $100, so I put in 100 and press cost, and I uh, sell it for 
uh, $150, I, I think it gives me what my profit margin was in percent. Yes, it does. So I, I have a profit margin of 33.33%. Uh, Can't believe I remembered that correctly. Um, you've got a percent key. So what's 25% of uh, 30? Um, 30 times 25%. 7.5 and of course we have multiply and divide um, I forget if this works some adding machines treat multiply and divide in a nice fashion some of them treat it in a more annoying fashion let me see here I'll just add a number and then I'll go 2 times 3 equals 6 16 okay so this treats it in the uh, in the nice fashion so that's good think if I just if I hit total yeah you still get just 16 so if I have something and then I go 5 times 5 and I hit subtotal yeah you still only get 10 so that's so yeah these these work in a nice fashion and uh, really that's about it for this thing. Rip the paper off. Used quite a lot of it in this video. I'll, uh, oops. Don't want to do that with no paper in it. Get ink everywhere. Um, in a pinch, I suppose you could use this handheld. Um, but you, if you tilted it, your paper roll would fall off and run halfway across the country. Um, but there's what the bottom looks like. There's where your four AA batteries go. There's also a AC adapter jack, so you can run this on mains power if you so desire. It's rated two watts of power. AC adapter is six volts. Center negative. Oh, I hate that. Center negative. So beware. Most power adapters are center positive. Made in China. There's your little door where the lithium clock battery goes, a CR2032 battery to keep the time and date. And uh, that's about it. That is all there is to show of the Sharp EL1750V battery powered adding machine from 2013. This is a currently available device. I haven't looked, but I would assume they're plentiful and cheap on eBay for used ones. I only paid two or three bucks for this at a thrift store, which I'm really surprised about. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice adding machine. Basically a portable version of the very nice EL1801V. Um, it's got a nice, quick, quiet printing mechanism that's easy and cheap to buy new ink rollers for. Um, and it's got a lot of nice functionality. So it's a, a very nice battery operated adding machine. Nice and small, light. Um, great if um, you have needs for such a thing. It's a very nice unit. See you next time.